what's up y'all what's up y'all um i just saw a post from <laughs> nikki black who i adore um that said the united states is a death cult and i was like no truer word has ever been spoken and <laughs> what it made me want to get on here and talk about is a thing that i have thought about many times and talked with other folks about I don't know if I've talked about it in a what's up y'all but I am today and it is about the nihilistic nature I never know if it's nihilism or nihilism um but we're gonna go with nihilism today um no we'll go with nihil nigh because anni annihilate right so I'll go with nigh the nihilistic nature <laughs> of whiteness um and like, America isn't a death cult. Whiteness is a death cult. And unfortunately, you know, America is the thought project of whiteness, quite literally. Uh, and so, consequently, it is governed therein by the dynamics that govern whiteness. And the dynamic that governs whiteness is nihilism. And... You know, nihilism is a commitment to one's own demise. Like, a, a, you know, like a real a commitment. How did your girl end up on the part, on the turnpike? What is happening right now in my life? Um, you know, somehow I'm doing all kinds of strange things. Are there real tickets? Nope. Cashless coming to us. Buckle up. All right. Um. So, here's the deal. <laughs> the nature of whiteness is to constantly have to validate its existence. And the only way to validate its existence is through the illusion of superiority. And... And without the illusion of superiority, then, then literally it creates the kind of existential crisis that says, do I actually exist? Right? Like, if whiteness doesn't exist, and it doesn't, it's made up. If whiteness doesn't exist, and someone's identity is firmly structured on the illusion that is whiteness then to challenge that illusion is to challenge the very nature of one's existence and when challenged with the very nature of our existence when challenged with the when challenged with trying to understand or create a reason for being alive. Like inside of that question is suicidality, right? The like, well, if I don't exist, then why am I here, right? So y'all gonna roll with me right now because I'm clear I'm in my philosophy self, right? But inside of that question is, is an inherent sort of suicidality. Like if I don't exist, then why do I exist, right? And so, because it creates such conflict inside of people who have no other sense of understanding of themselves, it creates a willingness to uphold the illusion at any cost. Because to get rid of the illusion in some ways is to kill oneself. And so, however, particularly in the current context that we're living in, to hold on to the illusion is also to kill oneself. But at least it's to die with the belief still intact. And that is what whiteness is. Is willing to die and kill everybody else for the ability to maintain the illusion. And that is what whiteness has us all on a death march toward. 
Because whiteness would sooner die than denounce its superiority. Because to denounce its superiority would be to denounce its own existence. It would sooner it would sooner only exist in its imagination than to ex then it would rather die in the physical and live in the imagination than to live in the truth. And this is why I stay telling white people, y'all better figure out what the fuck else you get. Who the fuck else you are outside of whiteness? Because if you do not, you are on a death march that will carry all of us with it. And for some folks, they're fine with that because at least they die white. <laughs> Literally. For some folks, they don't give a fuck about dying as long as they still get to die inside of their white supremacist delusion. But if you got some part of you, some inkling inside of you, some ancestor who was down for survival, you're going to need to figure out how to excavate that energy. And then you're going to need to figure out how you convince your friends, cousins, grandmas, uncles, and aunties how to do the same. Because the truth of the matter is, your people finna kill us all. And nobody, you know, like, be damned, whatever foolishness, you know, the pundits will tell you about on why the election looks the way the election looks, which is a joke. It's a complete, total joke. The election looks the way the election looks because whiteness looks the way the whiteness looks. That shit is not a function of anybody. It's anything else. Nothing. You know, and, and so when we talk about responsibility as, poly, as possibility inside of the work of Buyback Black Debt, what we're talking about is white people recognizing that whiteness is finna kill us all. It ain't gonna say we have surpassed the point in time where whiteness will save you. Whiteness will kill you, kill itself, and tell you, well, at least I died better than you. And you're gonna need to decide if that's the type of shit you're signing up for. And you're going to need to figure out how you shake awake the white people in your life. It's a different conversation this year at your Thanksgiving tables. This shit is dire. And white people, I don't know what to tell you. But here's the, because here's the sad, sorry truth is... Again, some of us are built for survival. It's whiteness that isn't built for survival. So whiteness thinks it's going to kill everybody while killing itself. It'll kill its projects. It will. It'll kill its own project. It'll kill its own babies. Whiteness will kill the things it birthed. But there have always been things that existed before whiteness. And they will continue to live. So this isn't a question actually about, you know, all of us. This is a question for some of us. Some of us going to be all right because we are epigenetically designed to survive. The rest of us might going to have to start asking ourselves some questions. All right. Bye, y'all.